The people did not receive him because his face was set towards Jerusalem. Recently, we have seen a spate of incidents in which one religious community deliberately enters the area of another to provoke them into a riot. The Samaritans similarly had an ongoing feud with the Jews. They were easily provoked by the Jews to the extent of attacking Jews if they so much as ventured to pass through Samaritan territory. In today's Gospel, Jesus, through his advanced messengers, sought permission to enter Samaritan territory. Clearly, his intention was not to provoke them. He was offering a hand of friendship to broker peace between the two communities who had been loggerheads for centuries. This passage is a beautiful instance of tolerance by Jesus, the Prince of Peace. He was not affronted when he was rudely turned away by the Samaritans, who painted the entire Jewish people and thus Jesus too as enemies. Don't we too label or scorn entire communities similarly? In their self-righteousness, the disciples were outraged at being unjustly profiled and wanted to ask God to destroy the Samaritans. But Jesus rebuked them. This is a good illustration of how we too shall not play judge, jury and hangman. Fruit When falsely accused, can we follow Jesus' example and rebuke people who urge us to fight or to retaliate against those who persecute us?